Johnny, your ma was a rebel. He rode through the West. Did Johnny, your ma the rebel? He wandered alone. Johnny, you ma. Anybody home? Mister. Now, real slow. Pull your gun up out of your holster, toss it on the bed. With your left hand. You come back here looking for more? I've never been here before in my life. You haven't, huh? What's your name? Where are you from? Yuma. Johnny Yuma. Just riding. Well, you did pretty good for somebody who was just riding. Why didn't you answer when I called? I figured you wanted to make sure you were safe. Safe from what? Who are you? How do I know that star means anything? My name's Cannon. Now, suppose you tell me what happened to Miss McGilney. What did you do to her and that Mexican boy that was helping her out here? Nothing. I found that jewelry and picture in that saddlebag 12 miles south and a horse somebody had shot. Who? I don't know. I was returning the goods to where they belong. Name's on the frame right there, the Hermitage. You got a good nose for directions. First, I followed the tracks of the horse that was shot. Afterwards, I got my bearings from a rancher. You're sure quick with the answers. Well, you're even quicker with the questions. Besides, I'm not lying. And until I find out what happened to Miss McKilney and that Mexican boy, I'm holding you. I got my deputies out searching the territory. Now, come on. Beautiful girl living in a place like this. Yeah, for 20 years, in just that one room. She doesn't look like that anymore. She means something to you, doesn't she? Mister, she means enough to me that if anything's happened to her and you're not cleared, you're gonna hang, and I'm gonna see to it. Now get moving. Here's your thief, Fulmer. This is Miss McGilney's crucifix. Where is she, boy? Why were you running when we told you to stop? I was not running away. Let's go to him now, Clyde. He killed her for sure. No. No, we're going to do more than leave him out here for vulture pickings. We got a better use for him. Him throwing a shoe shouldn't worry someone like you, Mr. Cannon. I wouldn't guess you'd much care. I treat a horse the way I treat a man. He gets what he deserves. You know something? You're talking like someone who's got some feelings. But you're acting as stubborn as a jackass. Now, how long do you think you can hold me? And what if your deputies don't find anyone? We'll face that when we come to it. Look, I haven't done anything, and I was never in that house before, and I can prove it to you. 
I keep a journal. I write down each day where I've been and what I've seen. Look at the last page. Springton livery stable, 11th of August. Today's August 13th. Now, how could I be in this part of the country two days ago? I don't know yet. Mr. Eldridge talked about baling hay. His voice was soft, so delicate for a big man that it was startling. He made me think of another soft-spoken man, a man who was killed because he spoke the truth. Is this your writing, boy? I looked at Mr. Eldridge again and saw that gentleness of age is sometimes born in the violence of youth. Violence that has burned itself up. How does a boy like you come to write like this? Oh, Sheriff! what we were looking for, Cannon. We'll loosen that tongue of yours. You tell him what you did to that woman. I did nothing. You did Get on me! Take it easy. You're getting soft in your old age, ain't you? Ain't he, boys? Don't press your luck. You're still only a deputy. Kylie, wipe that grin off your face. You and Phillips go on back to town. We don't need you here anymore. Get going. What's he doing here? He's just leaving. Get your guns and ride out and don't come back. We got the party we need. What makes you so sure? You thought I was your man when you found me with the jewelry. What jewelry? No, oh, he found Salada's horse out in the hills. He was carrying a saddlebag filled with Miss McKilney's things. Uh-huh. So that's why you were afoot, huh, boy? You lost your horse. We found him running away. Caught him near Apache Wells, four miles from the border. I was not running away. My horse fell and broke its leg. I shot it. Then he came along and I hid. Why? I did not know who you were. I did not want anyone from the town to know she had given me her things. You mean you stole them? No. I found him wearing this around his neck. You lying thief! What'd you do to her? Where is she? This how you always question a man, Mr. Cannon? I told you to go. Well, I'm not going. Maybe you're looking for trouble. Let him be. Let's go back to town. why they don't go back to their own people. It isn't far. Only 10 miles across the border. going to do something about it. Some of the people in this town don't exactly like it the way Joe Gonzalez was given a jail term last month instead of a hanging. That's why I sent him out of town to be tried somewhere else. Enough of us still think you made a mistake. And it ain't going to happen again. Thought I told you I didn't want you around here. I'm not breaking any law. Then why don't you leave? Maybe I just like your town. I think you're losing your grip, Cannon. You can't even put a kid out of town. Like he said, he isn't breaking any law. Well, then let's do something about one who has. How much proof do you need? You got the crucifix she stole? How many times have we seen Miss McKinley wear that, huh? 
Who else has got one like it around Mexican hat? Miss McKinley gave it to me! She might have given you a lot of things, boy, but she didn't give you this. She wouldn't have given this for food if she was starving, and you know it. Nobody knows anything yet. I don't know which one of you two is worse. Maybe you. As long as he don't want to leave town. Maybe I ought to fix him good. You try. You sure talk a good fight, don't you, Clyde? Tell him where the woman is, Salado, and we'll get out of here. She has gone away. Far away. No one can harm her again. She didn't go anywhere. Not after staying inside that house for almost 20 years. You killed her. And we're gonna hang you, boy. Today. Is that the law in these parts, Mr. Cannon? I know he's guilty, but he'll get a trial. Another trial like a Gabe Gonzalez? Right. Why? So nobody will be safe around here? Because I said so. You gonna try a dirty thief like him? I said he'll get a trial. You think treating him with kid gloves is gonna get the rest of them to vote for you? That how you think you're gonna get reelected, Cannon? You stink, don't you, mister? And you stay around this town another hour and you're gonna have trouble. Yes, sirree, a whole pack of trouble. And you're gonna be out of a job soon. Old man. Get out. Get out of here. That ain't gonna work either. I've been a deputy long enough. And I'm gonna get your job by making sure he gets hung. I kill her. I swear by all that's holy. I would not kill her. Looks like you and me are in for some trouble. Sheriff. Do nothing. You say the boy killed Miss McKelvey. How do you know? How much you need to know? He stole all her valuables. She disappeared and he ran off. And he won't tell where she is because he killed her. How can you be sure of anything? I caught him, I ought to know. your problem. This might not be my problem, but you're going to need help. And I don't see anybody around. Besides, I don't like lynchings. We better stop them out there before this thing gets worse. You asked about the law around here. We got a law that says I can't stop a man from speaking his mind. Well, you can if he's yelling fire and there isn't one. What this town needs is some law with teeth in it. Not a tired old sheriff who's been running things his way for the past 20 years. Now, Cannon don't like it because I said Salado killed that woman. Not just any woman, Clyde. Miss McKilney. Ah, Miss McKilney, whose daddy made this town. And I say she was murdered. And if Cannon thinks he's going to get reelected by playing up to them that don't even belong here, he don't know this town. He's right, boys. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And I say he don't have proof of Salado killing anybody. But how far is he going to get with Vulma rousing him up like he's doing? He might even get elected. You might even get shot. You're gonna side with me on this. We're gonna be two awful lonely people. I've been lonely the better part of my life. Those words you wrote in the journal about the violence of youth, I've been through it. That's why I can't let Vollmer be the judge and jury now. I still say he didn't do it, even if he was wearing that crucifix. I've seen killers. Johnny, she never would have given him this. I know that. There might have been a reason. Who was she? The Major's daughter. He was the wealthiest landowner in the territory. Gave me this job. I was real proud that day. Miss Sophina even pinned this badge on my vest. She said, 
Never take it off. Wear it like I wear this. Never take it off. I got him hooked, boys. But you ain't got all the town on your side yet. You don't even know the boy done it. So we say he done it. The three of us can swing enough of them to get the boy hanged. What they're looking for out there is somebody to tell them what to do. I win this election, the town's gonna be wide open. We'll all make out. Come on. Time we set an example around here. But Clyde, there is a chance he might not have done it. What proof have you got that he didn't? He should have stayed across that border. Why do you think he'd come up here? She let him stay at her place. He talked her into it. And you know how he done it, boys? Because she liked Salado's kind. Didn't her own daddy shoot one in that street not 20 years ago because she fell in love with him? You remember Esteban? Well, the Major took care of him. And I say we're taking care of this one. What do you want us to do, Clyde? We hang him. Make sure he gets what he deserves. Now, hold on, man. Let's get him out of that jail. How would you like that kid touching your woman? What about Cannon? He can't stop us. I'm stopping you right now. Volmer, why don't you go someplace and cool off? The rest of you go on home. Let the law handle this. Is that what you're doing, Sheriff? Protecting a thief and a killer? As long as I'm wearing a star, I'm running this town. I've given you law and order for 20 years. No man sets foot inside that jail without my permission. Who's backing you up, Sheriff? This punk? Don't goad him, Clyde. He might bite you. Uh-huh. Would you bite me, Sonny? You tell me you want me to bite you again. We ain't through yet. First things first. We find the body, we got our proof. Where are we looking? Out at the Hermitage. Get some shovels. We better give that boy one more chance of talking real quick. Salado, I'm your friend. I want to believe you. If you didn't harm that woman, tell us where she is. Dead, senor. She died quietly, with great dignity, and a broken heart. Where'd you bury her? We gotta find that grave, and we don't have much time. Volmer. Volmer. Twenty years ago, the Major gave him their victim. You mean Esteban? Yes. The Major might just as well have killed Miss Sofina. After Esteban died, she dried up like a shriveled cactus. Living out there at the Hermitage with her old servant, Maria. And the Major? He must have realized she really loved Esteban. The night of the shooting, he killed himself. A few months later, even the old servant woman left. Was never heard of again. The only other one she ever let live out there was that boy back there. He came here about a year ago. Salada wouldn't have buried her outside a cemetery, not with his religious background. Did she ever tell anybody where she wanted to be buried? Only that she didn't want to lie next to her father. That's why Salada wasn't talking. He buried her where she asked him. Beside Esteban, the Mexican graveyard. Come on, we gotta get going before this is back. Come on! There it is. Perez Esteban. In loving memory. I 
was right. Cannon, read it! He knew he was wrong! Oh. <laughs> I didn't know it! You've broken the law for the last time. You're under arrest. This boy committed no crime. Sophina McGillney lies buried right where she belongs. He placed her there, but he didn't kill her. Take a look at that graveyard marker. All of you, take a look at it. My mother, let her rest in peace now. Why didn't you tell us? He was willing to die to hide the shame of his mother from the world. That's where she'll stay. I'll see to that. The crime was that it was all done out of man's hate. Maybe they learned a lesson. Yeah, maybe we all did. Johnny Yuma was a rebel. He rolled through the web. As he wandered far where the only law was a hook and a draw the rebel away. Johnny Yuma, Johnny Yuma was a rebel. He rode through the west. Did Johnny Yuma, the rebel, he wandered along. He searched the land, this restless land. He was panther quick and leather tough. If he figured that he had been pushed enough, the rebel, Johnny Yuma, 